Hey everybody, Tim here with tonight's episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, Season 1, Episode 22, Skin of Evil. <clears throat> um, so this is probably a very famous episode, or an infamous episode, if you will. It's the death of Tasha Yar. Um, so during this first season of Star Trek, uh, it felt like there were too many characters on the bridge, and they didn't really know how to handle them. And so they had kind of talked about cutting out different characters, like maybe Troy, maybe Worf. Um, but in the end, um, I think Denise Crosby, uh, the, the actress that plays Tasha just decided that it was too much for her. And so she decided to leave. Um, so if you watch the last episode, uh, this wasn't the last episode she filmed, but it is the last episode she's in, uh, not counting some other alternate dimension stuff. Um, sorry. Um, but overall, like this episode's pretty rough. It's, uh, so they, they go to a planet or D Troy crashes on a planet and the crew goes to save her and it's Riker, Data, and Tasha. And they encounter this ooze that, um, they can't read at all, but it ends up being sentient. Um, I think I read somewhere it was like Metamucil and printer ink or something. It's pretty gross. Um, but it's, it's basically like tar, like sentient tar. And it ends up being extremely powerful. And I'm, I'm more interested in this creature than anything else because I feel like they don't really do anything with it. Uh, by the end of the episode, you realize that the original civilization that lived on this planet somehow like cast out their negative feelings or whatever, and it materialized into this ooze. And so we see a lot of different stuff from it. Like it's, it's able to move, it's able to shapeshift. Um, like it kills Tasha within like the first 15 minutes of the episode just by like a, a flick of the wrist, if you will. Like it just doesn't do anything. Um, but it's, it's interesting to see what it can do. And then later on when Jordy comes to kind of get a visual of it, uh, it's able to move his visor, uh, like telepathically, like it's able to teleport it or telekinetically. Um, so it's kind of interesting. Like I wish they had done more. Um, I don't know if I necessarily call it a, a blooper or a goof or whatever, but it's kind of noteworthy that when he sees Data, he calls him the Tin Man a couple of times. So, like, why does this sentient tar from another planet know Wizard of Oz references? But it's it's kind of interesting. Uh, in the early season, before they narrow down a lot of stuff, they do stuff like that a lot. Um, like, I think it was the Justice episode where Riker says, When in Rome, and then Worf says, R Where? Um... Worf was raised on Earth. Like, I don't care where you are on Earth, you've at least heard about Rome. Um, so little stuff like that, where they just hadn't narrowed it down yet. Um, it's also kind of noteworthy that this episode, um, Troy calls Riker Imzadi. I think this is the third time they've said it. Um, I just, I always keep track of whenever they say it, because I like that word. Um, yeah, overall, for me, like, I, I felt like this episode had good intentions, but they just didn't get to the point where they wanted to get to. And it's just, it kind of fell apart really, really bad. Um, I do like the memorial service there at the end. I thought that was an interesting scene. But again, like, why does she have this long monologue of every character? Like, it just didn't feel real to me, if you will. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's that's about it. Like, it's just, it's kind of a rough episode. It, it had potential to do better. Um, I can't wait until, I think it's season three when we see Tasha come back for the special episode. Maybe it's season two. It's soon. Um, but I can't wait for that one. Um, otherwise, let me know, and Tasha, or, um, Denise Crosby does come back in the later seasons. Um, I won't get too much into that, but, so we will see Tasha again. Um, overall, let me know what you guys feel about this episode. Let me know what you guys think about Tasha Yar in general. Like, I'll, I'll just keep it pretty short. Just let me know what you think about Tasha. Like, do you, do you wish she had stayed with the show, or are you kind of glad that they got rid of her? Um, go ahead, let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time for episode 23, We'll Always Have Paris.